Hey, welcome back. So this is part five of the tank game tutorial. And in order to make this a little more interesting, um, that's what this video is all about, is making it more interesting. So for starters, make your sphere twice as big on the target itself and move it into the wall a little bit. Make the mass of your player anchor rigid body point five. And then go back to your bullet explosion script. And uh, change the target part to match this. So this goes grabs the points of the point of collision, and it gets all of the bullets to explode, and it applies an explosion force to all of them with a large radius uh, at the point of the actual collision. And you end up with something like this. And then you can dig your way back out. And shoot it again. And then if we add a UI canvas, and in there we add a UI text, and call it score, call this score, and click here and Alt and Shift to move it to the top left. Make it white. And add comment, component, shadow. It's got a subtle shadow. Make it two and two. And then add a something called T, like it's called a scoring script to that. I called it T scoring because that's my naming convention for this project, but you don't need to call it that. And in that T-scoring script, this is my approach for a really simple scoring HUD. And I've got a whole video about this, but just add this code. And um, then back in the bullet explosion, if the explosion counts greater than two, you've already got that. But just add this one line, and that'll increment the score. See over there on the left? score is incremented. It doesn't increment when most of the bullets hit it. But if I plow my way over there and then I hit it direct with one of my bullets. There we go. That, no. There. Two up in the top left. And that's all the explosion stuff, but if you want to add a game over in a loop, that's pretty easy too. Create a new UI text in the canvas and call it game over and make that the text here and set it to 55 font size, 200 height, 200 width, shift and alt to set it in the middle of the screen, make it white, make it bold, centered, wait, where's bold? Here, and add a shadow. Four, four. Let's go for eighty-five. Four hundred. Four hundred. That's pretty good. Now, disable it. Now go to your scoring script and add this update and this delayed game over I enumerator thing. This just delays for a little while. That's what this mechanism does when you have this line and this line, and it's called this way, then it'll wait for three seconds and then do this stuff. Also, I didn't mention earlier, but you need using unityengine.ui. So I also added these two things just now and set this to a 0f at the beginning. And then back in the scoring script, you need to drag that game over into this game over field. Now back in the script, this says 5 seconds game time, so that's not probably very good, but 30 seconds. Let's give it that. In order to illustrate what happens, though, I set it back to 5, so after 5 seconds it goes game over, and then a few seconds later it just stops running. An even better approach is to, instead of stop running, load the current scene like this. 
and you also have to add this using at the top. But once you do that, I've got the timer set to 10 seconds right now, and I've moved my player to be right over by this dot, so I can get as many points as I can quickly. And then there's a the game over, and then it just reloads. Now I think you'll notice the lighting's all messed up right now. Got at least two that time, so game over, and it reloads again. So let's fix the lighting. Okay, in Unity, go to Window, Lighting, Settings. Auto-generate, unselect that, and click on Generate. And then you're going to let it do its thing. Sometimes that, for a big scene, that takes a long time, and it'll tell you down in the bottom right. But now that probably won't happen. Let's see if I can get another point before it's up. Nope. Hands off. Reload. Lighting's fixed. That's a bit of a fun game right there. So I hope you enjoyed this. That was the whole series. That's it. Um, but I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear back from you. I'd love to hear about. I'd love to hear about like what kind of things that you want to do and see. In other tutorials like this, and I'd love to hear what you thought of this one, and I'd love to hear any questions that you have about this one. And I'd love to try to answer them. So let's interact. Stick some comments down at the bottom. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Hey, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.